Hello and welcome to Camp Xbox, where we talk about all things Xbox, from the original to the Series X, and on today's agenda is a review of Crackdown, an open-world, third-person shooter released February 20th, 2007, exclusively on the Xbox 360, which is where all footage was captured today, and Crackdown is backwards compatible on all modern Xboxes and is even available for free through the Microsoft Store. It was developed by Real Time Worlds and published by Microsoft Game Studios. Crackdown was a huge early exclusive for the Xbox 360 in a time where open world Grand Theft Auto clones were a huge deal. Crackdown wanted to mix the cop angle that the True Crime series had with a superhero game. The game has gone on to garner sequels, and the first two are remembered fondly by the Xbox community. Yet, I think that's because this original game came with a Halo 3 beta code, so everyone was excited for that and had this game in relation to the Halo 3 beta. I have played some of this back in the day, but I never finished it, yet I wanted to pick this one back up, beat it, and see if it's still a fun game to play to this day. In Crackdown, you play as a superhuman character called a Peacekeeper, who works for the Agency. Their goal is to eradicate three major crime syndicates within Pacific Heights, the La Merge, Los Muertos, and the Volk all gangs that control three different sections of the city, but are causing mayhem and harm to the citizens that reside there. It is your job to kill every gang leader and slowly wipe them from the face of the city. It's a simple, paper-thin plot, but this isn't a game that is asking you to dig too deep into its plot. With a cel-shaded look, its style is representative of a comic book, and I feel like the story does a great job of conjuring up that same intention. You are a good guy, and it's your goal to take out the bad guys. It's as simple as can be and opens up for a free roaming experience where you can take out any gang leader you see fit to take out. It sets you up for a type of game that wants you to just go into the city and have some fun, and I can appreciate that approach. In Crackdown, you control your peacekeeper from a third person perspective, just like most Grand Theft Auto type games. You can shoot enemies and carjack as expected, but I think Crackdown has added a few additional things to the mix that elevate the gameplay experience. Crackdown uses RPG elements along the way to help power up your Peacekeeper. There are five skills that you can max out. Strength will make your punches and kicks hit harder. Explosives, which will make your grenade explosions bigger. Driving, which you can level up through doing stunts and hitting people, will make your car controlling better. Firearms, which will make you more accurate. And my absolute favorite, agility, which will make you jump higher and run faster. Agility is the skill that makes you feel like the superhero that the game wants you to be. The main way to level up agility is to collect green orbs hidden on top of skyscrapers and buildings. You use your giant leaps to climb up these rooftops and collect them. There's something about leaping on top of skyscrapers and roofs that feels incredible, and makes navigation such a joy. Seeing a giant building and knowing with some maneuvering that you are going to be able to leap up and go to the top adds to the open world so much. Instead of having a flat world to explore, now the city gains more definition to the experience. Gunplay feels good as well, it's simple, it's aim and shoot, but feels fast and frantic since the game is not easy. You will die a lot while playing Crackdown, but with leveling up, things get a little easier. Waves of enemies will flow at you with tactical use of guns and grenades, you will be able to wipe them out and feel extremely powerful. Driving feels well done as well, with an emphasis on being able to do extreme jumps and maneuvers in the air. I honestly didn't want to drive all that much though, because walking and jumping around was way more fun than driving ever was. The open-ended nature of the game I think works and doesn't work for the game at times. The city layout itself is well done, with each district being distinct and the way each building you can enter has its own style based upon what gang's territory you're in. I particularly like the Volk area where everything felt overly industrial. 
Yet, I think when you really play this game, it lacks a lot of meat to its overall gameplay. Each gang section of the world has a few main leaders to take out, and once you kill them all, you save that section. That's about it though. There are a few races to do, but it's all superfluous and honestly doesn't offer much in the way of variety. I found that I would just keep respawning, going to a leader, and taking them out, only to just repeat this process over and over again. There's not any story missions or missions that change the gameplay even slightly. What you do at the beginning is exactly the thing you will do for the rest of the game. I guess I would have enjoyed some more variety along the way because once I reached the final district just to do the same thing again, I was slightly bored of the experience. Not that it wasn't fun still, but it needed something a bit extra to give the game a nice bit of entertainment to its pacing. So at its core, we have a fun experience, an open world where you can be a superhero running and jumping over buildings and mowing down bad guys. The core gameplay is fun, but the mission layout starts to repeat itself a little too much. It may lack a bit of variety, but I do think the actual fun factor and gameplay do somewhat outweigh a lot of the mission variety issues, and I think most people will just have a fun time free roaming around and killing the gang members that stand in your way. An added bonus to this game is multiplayer where you can play with in the city in co-op with a friend online. It's a simple drop in and drop out experience so you can join a friend or a friend can join your city. It's just the simple story where you wipe out gang members together. I did not experience this, but it seems like a nice addition to beef up the entertainment factor of this game. Any game with a friend is elevated by that experience. Graphically, I'm always a fan of the cell shaded look and I believe that Crackdown is still a good looking game. I like that its look is more in the style of a comic book with bold black lines and nice highlighted colors. The game also runs impressively. It has a huge city and sometimes games back then had a hard time keeping up with everything going on, but there's a ton of cars and crowds of people roaming the streets and I never had any slowdown issues once. I was impressed, especially because when I say crowds of people, there are an insane amount of people on the streets of the city. The city feels alive and vibrant. Just like I mentioned before, each district has their own unique vibe and style and it makes it fun to cross the city to see something completely different. I think by 2007 standards, Crackdown was getting great use out of the Xbox 360 technology and is still a good looking game today. An interesting and very notable element of this game is its narrator, so there is not much voice work, but this game does have a narrator that constantly speaks. Not only does he dish out dossiers on each gang leader, he will give you tips along the way, letting you know punching can level you up or getting an agility orb will make you jump higher. All super basic stuff that you don't need to be reminded of constantly, but don't worry, he will constantly remind you. It becomes super grating at first, but it's weird. It almost wraps around and feels like a parody at the end of the game. Sometimes you'll die and he'll make a dumb comment and it comes off as just silly. The narrator becomes a character and I guess at a certain point you become accustomed to it. I don't know if it's Stockholm Syndrome, but you end up having fun with it. The music in this game is cool too. It's actually not a bunch of licensed music that's popular. It uses a lot of interesting artists to beef up its game's radio. Artists like Eamon Tobin throw in some really cool electronic tracks that give the game a soundtrack that's not dated but stands out. The city almost feels lived in with a lot of city noise and builds the ambiance of the districts. The achievements in this game are tough and will ask you to do a lot of specific things such as flipping 5 times or blowing up 100 barrels in 60 seconds. I honestly love games that actually ask you to do weirdly specific things over just achievements for completing the story and missions. It adds that replay value that achievements should add without boring you off the game. It's not an easy 1000 gamer score though, since it does ask you to get all 800 collectible orbs in the game, and this game has no tracker, so you have to use your brain or mark off a map. I don't love collectibles when they amount to this many, so I decided not to torture myself and I didn't get the 1000 gamer score on this. Other than that though, it's a fun achievement list. 
Overall, Crackdown is an extremely fun game to play. Jumping across buildings and feeling like a superhero is exciting. The game loses that excitement with time and a repetitive mission structure. The look and feeling of the game is vibrant and I found it to be a fun game to explore. I'd say it's a great time, and since it's free and backwards compatible, you have no excuse to try this one out and have some fun with it. I do recommend checking it out. On my Xbox 360 ranking list, it does rank low, but I really haven't covered any god-awful 360 games yet. It's gonna go at the number 13 slot. I put it above Stranglehold because I feel like Crackdown was consistently fun throughout over Stranglehold, which had a few annoying missions. And then I put Dante's Inferno over Crackdown because I really love the story, the art, and overall production of Dante's Inferno better. But that wraps it up for today. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like and subscribe. Also, comment below if you have any memories with Crackdown. I'd love to hear about that. And let me know what you want me to cover next time. But I'll see you here next time at Camp Xbox.